This is the horribly constructed, mo constructed modernized 5155 power supply. I actually had a nice EVGA one in here, but the dumpster diving silicone I had after a day apparently didn't actually dry and instead just got chunky, so I kind of uh, got some sparklage and smokage when I turned on the power supply. So uh, here's the cheap Chinese one. I need to plug up these holes to make the ventilation work properly. Probably going to lose, use some uh, aluminum tape since I have that. We still have airflow going through here. And the heat sinks actually are in this region, so if the air just goes, it'll still cool itself at the original fan, which means it still has the original sound. And the reason why it's turned on immediately is because I got it jumped. Normally I'd have to flip the switch and then I'd turn the motherboard on. And uh, I'm going to use one of the 12 volt lines of the CRT. And this is a Chinese piece of shit power supply I've actually beefed up the heat sink on. Because the original one, would it just would have smoked on half its rated power. Uh, th these heat sinks are actually from a 600 watt power supply. And this thing's supposed to be a 600 watt power supply but had less heat sinking than a 200 watt power supply. Yeah, that seems legit. Fucking China. Let's show this fucking thing sits in here. Fuck RF shielding, this is good enough. Let's see how well it fits in there now. This is by no means near done. I'm not going to put much time into it because I'm just trying to get shit together because I'm having a party on Friday. But uh, there's a power supply fitting in place. The cables will go over here enough for me to actually be able to plug the motherboard in. I'm probably going to put down plexiglass instead of cardboard because I have scrap plexiglass laying around. can drumble that up, use it as an insulator. And honestly, I don't care too much about how it looks on the inside. I want it to function and be portable. That's the thing. I want it to function with being able to play modern games with the oldest possible hardware. And that is my goal for this thing. And uh, this little adapter here does allow the original keyboard to work. And I've played around with that. So uh, the original 5155 fold out keyboard still connects and works so we're going to be using the original crt the original keyboard and the original floppy drive is not working yet because i do not know how to get a five and a quarter to connect to the motherboard with no floppy drive support but i'm sure i can find a motherboard of that form factor that has it so that will come down the road i also still intend on using this drive bay to like you know have the power switch and volume knob and i still want to put little speakers and shit in it because i have room for a little five watt amp or something like that Oh hell, hey, maybe this could be the amp now, but I, I just want to have like a little PC speaker type things. Like I might move one, the original one that's in it, so I'm going to have one on the left side and one on the right side. It's going to be a little stereo, like 2 to 5 watt type deal. Not much, just so I can have internal sound. And there's going to be audio jacks in the front, and because I scrapped this amp, I'm able to have some pretty cool uh, knobs and switches on it. Hey, I wonder if these would fit in here. Yeah, I wouldn't put them in here though. Actually, they would though. I'd take up a lot of switch space, but if I really did want to, this is, uh, I, I could totally have them fit with room for shit, but I ain't doing that. Although I might use these LEDs, that's kind of cool how they fit into such small areas because the way they're rounded out. Where's the LED I have uh, that I actually wanted to use in this thing? Yeah, I don't think there's going to be a fire up. You guys know what this thing looks like running. And uh, it's probably not going to be fired up until it's complete. Besides, they don't have a proper graphics card for it, so I'd have to run it on a 5200 or a, a 40. Yeah, a 50. Fuck! What the hell's the name of that graphics card? Uh, 7800 GS. That's what it is. 7900. That's what it is. 7900. I'd like to have a. Uh, I wish I had a uh, the red light for this, but that's in my Super Nintendo. Because that would be really cool to have a red and green light like that because it looks industrial and I like industrial look. I also have not found the right plastic to put on here. I want to work on getting this thing assembled though. This is going to happen. Wait, what the hell? Oh, I thought it was an art, a coax jack. But yeah, I might replace one of the variable resistors on the amp with one of these. And if it's not within a close enough arm rating, then I'll just fucking take one of the variable resistors from the amp I use for the power input and I'll just... uh try making one of these knobs work on it because I think it'd be really cool having a nice chrome actually metal knob I could probably make some switches work too are there any momentaries in here well I know there's some push buttons but yeah because uh woo. all right I was gonna make it have a 
a video, yeah, I would need a hard switch too, because there's going to be a video option, because I used to get, like, my first TV when I came to Pennsylvania for over a year was a black and amber 13-inch Magnavox monitor, so I, I, I miss gaming on amber, and I we're actually going to be able to connect this up to it and have a, have RCA jacks in the front, a switch to go from front computer to front, so I could play some game TV or something like that back how I used to when I was a uh, fucking, like, 14 years old and 15 years old, I miss that shit. I miss not having color. <laughs> Nostalgia. My first TV when I moved to this state was this guy right here. Amber Phosphor Monitor. It, uh, and I had that connected up to a VCR so I could actually watch TV too. That, that was what I had. And uh, I, probably in about a year, maybe a year and a half after that, I did get a color TV. It was like a, it was like 15 bucks at a, maybe 20 at uh, uh, Mary's Bargains, which is a video game you store in Huntington. It was a, it was a Daewoo. It ran about two years before it did some, started doing this thing where it'd leave pretty red, green, and blue circles across the screen and start making funny sounds. Determined the cause of death went, because uh, I didn't know shit about TVs back then, but when we pulled it apart, it was pretty obvious somebody had spilled pop in it and that was the problem. Yeah, so I'm going to get back to cleaning. Or I should say, I'm going to throw that scope together. And, uh, I think this, uh, I'm going to put all my circuit boards away. I'm going to put that scope below the table. I'm going to put all my fucking tools away. I'm going to break out a toolbox, put all my tools in that box. Uh, and, uh, I'm going to vacuum. I'm going to carpet clean. I'm going to try getting this floor fucking clean. I'm going to tuck that away somewhere. I'm going to restack all my TVs that I've been pulling down. Uh, shit's gonna, shit's gonna get together. I'm gonna make it so that's not cluttered with shit. I mean, look at this shit. We got a, well, actually, that, that's actually my desk trash can. Crossover, cut up power supply that's incredibly satisfying to cut with 10 snips. Camera taser, uh, full height hard drive. A light bulb thing needs to be thrown out. PCIe riser card. Keyboard USB thingy, which I've extracted just for the, the the volume knob ports. Sound card. Noodles. Uh, the best test print ever. The best test print ever. There we go. That lives here forever now. Yeah, a whole bunch of bullshit. Got a, got a tape here. Anybody need a tape? Fucking... Uh, tube radio with a blown out audio tube. EVGA power supply box, floppy disk. Dude, there's a lot of shit here. More floppy disk. Coca-Cola bottle. Can't, can't have, yeah, I gotta fucking, uh, let's just throw that out now. When It's nice when your desk is so messy, you don't even know you have Coca-Cola bottles on it. I probably have missing tools in here. I'm not kidding. Tag some work. Holy shit. Get a sideways monitor that needs to have its pins, re uh, the VGA pins resoldered to the board, but not sure if it's worth the effort. And I'm basically, uh, I'm not going to do it unless somebody wants it. But it produces a good picture, so I'll not destroy it. And it has a built-in microphone, which is kind of handy.